have a fuzz in my hair. So here's what I'm up to today. I am actually, funny enough, I'm like shooting a campaign for a cereal brand, Magic Spoon. I love this cereal. I'm shooting a little ASMR clip. I found, found some sunlight here and I'm capturing it, doing a little uh, cereal pour clip. So we'll see how this goes. It might go horribly. I'm using my little phone tripod thing that I love. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Turned out pretty well, if I do say so myself. We got that great lighting going. So I'm gonna save these, throw them into Final Cut and make it into a cool like ASMR thing for a brand. Ooh. Hello everyone. Just got back from Whole Foods. I got some fun stuff that I guess I can show you guys, right? When you don't vlog for a while, you like forget how to do it. So I'm like, Hey guys, like feeling awkward. My really sad flowers. I got some new ones to replace them because they dried up in like five seconds. Doesn't get a ton of light over here in the kitchen in the daytime, so I need to definitely remember to move flowers into the light during the day, like during the midday. In the morning, it gets super bright, but I really didn't get anything all that exciting, nor healthy. I didn't get like unhealthy things, but I got like comfort things. My cramps are insane right now, so I got some like just things to cheer me up, you know? So got some tulips, I'm gonna replace those dying roses with these. I love tulips for spring. They really remind me of my mom. My mom loves tulips. I also got a ton of their soups. I really love Whole Foods soups. They're just so good when you're like on your period or sick. These are great. They make great lunches and dinners. So I got three of those. I literally, <laughs> love soup. I am the biggest soup enthusiast you will ever meet. Had a random craving for uh, just like cheddar cheese. <laughs> so I got like little blocks, little squares of cheddar cheese. The ironic part of this uh, sequence of the vlog is I'm showing like all of these like sodium heavy, super like, you know, comfort foodie things. I'm about to have a call with my new personal trainer. Well, she's a friend of mine and she also does personal training and her name is Jane, Jane Simmons. So we're about to chat about my future in terms of my health. Um, I'm trying to get back into working out. I feel like ever since I was diagnosed with Lyme, which was now like two years ago, I just have not been able to find a consistent regimen that doesn't result in a lot of joint pain. Jane is gonna help me with that. She's a genius when it comes to uh, training plans and stuff like that. Also got apples. I need to get those like reusable bags. I keep saying I'm gonna get them from Amazon. When I edit this vlog, it's gonna remind me to order them. Okay, so that is everything I got. Also, I must know, like, am I the only person that refrigerates their apples? Like, does everyone do that? I don't know. I like them chilled, like a nice honey crisp chilled apple is just like heaven. All right guys, so this is what we're doing right now. Adam's here putting in work. <laughs> We're putting you should have seen me drag it off. <laughs> you should have seen him. He came over to visit, and I'm like, so you have a task. So he was dragging this 150 pound yeah. desk up the stairs. <laughs> We're putting together this desk. It's called the secretary desk from All Modern slash Wayfair. Oh, really intent. Yeah. Well, it's pretty solid, and it like came mostly put together. Except for these pieces, which Adam, <laughs> you're the one who is like, let's put it together. <laughs> so we're doing it. We're doing it. It gets so bright in here in the morning. Sun streaming in. I'm actually sitting in bed right now watching YouTube. Good morning, everyone. It is a brand new day. The sun is shining, really bright, actually. I need my blinds put in ASAP. I don't think I told you guys this, but the guy came yesterday to measure my windows. I picked colors and all that. I just picked like a very natural white color. They're gonna come to put them in in three to four weeks. So I have time to be blinded every morning a little bit longer. So anyway. I'm going to get ready for the day. So yeah, I'm gonna go out and get a coffee. Annoyingly, so I had a coffee maker, like I had a Keurig that I loved, and somehow in the move, like in the shipment of things from LA to Maryland, my coffee maker was lost. 
So I contacted them, I got reimbursed, whatever. But now I'm in the camp of like, do I get a Keurig again? Do I get an espresso? Because I really loved using an espresso with my roommates in LA. We had an espresso out there. So like, do I get an espresso now? Or do I, like, what do I do? I'm just like, so, oh my God, I don't know what to do. So let me know what you guys think. What's the superior coffee maker? Let me know down below. But that being said, I don't have a coffee maker right now, so I have to go get coffee when I want it. Which isn't the worst thing, but I just like, I'm trying to save money, you know? So buying coffee every day is not sustainable. But anyway, I think I have to do it today because I'm exhausted and it's Friday and my voice, oh my God. When I wake up, I have the worst morning voice. Anyone else? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm just so happy because I woke up and the apartment was super bright and cheery and yesterday it was so rainy, it was hard to focus. So I'm really grateful for the good weather today. weighted blanket is by far the best purchase I've made in 2021 so far. I don't know what I was doing up until getting this. I have never had a more peaceful night's sleep than with a weighted blanket. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this, but I took all my books out of the boxes and just stacked them here. And I think I'm going to, I have a few ideas. I might just like keep them stacked because they kind of look cool, but color coordinate them. Or I might put them up in here, this little cutout up here, and get one of those cool like library ladders and put it like along this wall. I really don't know though, so please tell me what you guys think I should do. I could just like keep them in stacks and like scatter them throughout the apartment. I'm not really sure, but I have so many books, even though I already downsized. It is a royal freaking disaster in here. <laughs> I just got a package in. Well, a few things actually, a few updates. So first of all, we have this picture that came in from Etsy. Got this for the wall above the couch. So this is gonna go up here eventually. But in other news, all of this stuff came from my new dresser that just came in. So a few things about this. Number one, I know it's a little bit higher than the bed, but once I get a headboard, I think it will look more natural, look a little less weird. Might move it to be on the other side of the bed, TBD, but for now, I'm really loving it. If you guys remember my dresser from the last place, this is the same one, but it's smaller. And you'll also notice, so it's on the floor right now. It came with these legs that I could put on it, but I feel like if I put them on, it'll just be way too high off the ground. It kind of looks very like, I don't know, restoration hardware when it's on the ground like this. I do like how it looks. So overall, very happy. It matches all my other wood, which is great. Once I get a cool headboard, I think it'll really tie the room together. I might even get like a plant and have it cascade, put a shelf there, I don't know. But of course guys, there always has to be something wrong. <laughs> so the dresser is perfect. Like it's beautiful, stunning, gorgeous, might change the knobs, whatever. But of course there has to be something that went wrong. The middle drawer will not open. I've tried all sorts of ways. I've slid a credit card in there. I've tried everything. So I think I have to get a task rabbit to come look at it and potentially fix it for me because it just, it won't open. So aside from that though, it's a beautiful like finish. The wood is so interesting. It came fully assembled aside from the legs and yeah, all in one piece, very solid. It wasn't on back order. It took, I think like a week to get here. So next on the agenda, we're tackling the mirror behind me. So I'm gonna take that box off and put it in the bedroom area. Sorry, I'm very backlit. Anyway, that's what we're doing next. not broken. If you've ever ordered a mirror, you know it's like so hit or miss if the mirror comes broken or not, even from a good company. So this is from West Elm. So we're gonna put this over in the bedroom area. I just need to get it over there now. The new mirror 
is here. It's from West Elm, I'll have it linked. Looks great, it's not warped. Overall, extremely happy with this. 